Ron DeSanctimonious. I'm frustrated by you not answering a direct question. Trump needs to take a good look in the mirror. Uh oh. You know, when we're fighting, it must be people that we generally don't like. Maybe we'll be actually sometimes. But in this case, it's Marjorie Taylor Greene versus Carrie Lake from Arizona. They're squaring off to be the most pathetic person who's begging for the, I guess, the granting of, of, of success from one Donald Trump. Uh, Marjorie Taylor Greene, this is from Rolling Stone, they're talking about this fight between the two of them. Marge keeps getting in fights with other uh, uh, Republican women. Still though, Marjorie Taylor Greene and Carrie Lake have been locked in what one source close to Donald Trump described to Rolling Stone as a death race to become his 2024 VP pick. Laugh along with me. Uh, on the surface, everything seems to be fine and up and up with them. You know, of course, in public or maybe even interactions where other people can see it, they say nice things to each other, kind of. But behind the scenes, though, according to four different sources, they said both of them view each other with intense distrust and disdain. You know, whenever the, you know, the folks who are all about whatever kind of corruption and backdoor plans that they're doing, once they finally have to divvy up the power that they're looking for, that's when the fights start happening. They each see it, see each other as their competition for Trump's political affections. Green in particular has gone beyond simple attempts to raise her own profile in the ongoing Trump deep stakes. In recent weeks, she's moved behind the scenes to hear uh, to tear down Carrie Lake. Curiously, trash talking her to others in the MAGA elite political circles and conservative media. Again, those sources were talking to Rolling Stone and saying this. One of her biggest issues with Carrie Lake is that she has a lack of she has a lack of seriousness. MTG thinks she's a scammer and not even a conservative, says one of the sources who's spoken to Green about this. The source adds that Green has privately said that Lake is a grifter. And is trying to keep riding Trump's coattails because she lost in Arizona. So she's cozying up on the election integrity messaging. I'm willing to agree with that, except it's coming from Marjorie Taylor Greene, who is cozying up to Trump and talking about election integrity to try and get in his good graces to be his VP pick. It sounds like you guys are the same person and only one can get this one spot. So you have to start fighting over it. By the way, for Kerry Lake, when these embarrassing stories have appeared in the news about uh, about anything regarding her, <laughs> she has at times voiced her suspicions that Marjorie Taylor Greene has been leaking neg negative information about her to the press. And unfortunately, though, this is the best part for both Lake and Greene. Maybe you guys wouldn't be surprised by this. Numerous sources close to Trump and working on his reelection effort deem each of their Trump VP chances as vanishingly low. <laughs> <laughs> Several of these people independently claim that even Trump is not stupid enough to tap either as his running mate. I'll disagree with that. He's very stupid enough to do something like that because he needs someone who's just gonna kneel and kiss his feet and they're both vying for that position. It's so funny to like admonish Carrie Lake for <laughs> pushing an election denying narrative. Jeez. When I mean Mar Marjorie Taylor Greene is doing exactly that all day long on every platform that she can possibly get on. And I mean, I'll, I'll, I'll give Carrie like this. She's at least a little bit ideologically consistent because if you think that the election was stolen from Trump, you should think that every election is stolen. You should be questioning the integrity of every election. You, I mean, they should be questioning the integrity of elections that Republicans win in because apparently the elections are all stolen. <laughs> but I mean, it, I just don't get Marjorie Taylor Greene just loves to pick fights with other people. I mean, we covered for months and months her ongoing feud with Lauren Boebert. Yeah. Um, just definitely not a girl's girl. <laughs> she seems like a woman <laughs> who hates other women. I mean, maybe it and maybe it is because she has these ambitions and these aspirations to be Donald Trump's vice president, despite the fact that apparently that, that is not. Uh, <laughs> not not a very strong possibility of happening. So I don't know, maybe she's intimidated by these other people. But I mean, Carrie Lake's a massive loser. Marjorie Taylor <laughs> Greene is one of the biggest grassroots fundraisers for the Republican Party. It just seems like yeah. she's very insecure for someone who's without a single a, a single shred of credibility or a single tiny shred of you know of any qualifications has has really just skyrocketed up the ladder in Republican politics. It's the easiest thing to do. It's odd though, when you're talking about how that's part of their whole identity. I was trying to think, if no Donald Trump or if Donald Trump grew 
about 1% of a conscience and said, I'm gonna step away because of all these things that are going down. And then he's no longer in the in the uh, you know the conversation. And then no one can blame anyone else except for him deciding to. What does Carrie Lake and what does Marjorie Taylor Greene, what do they do with their political careers? What do they do with their lives? Everything they do is staked on as Marjorie Greene said, apparently, jumping on the coattails of Donald Trump and going with this election integrity. What if that wasn't there? What do they do? Who does she fight with? What about? I mean, she does fight with a lot of Democrats, speaking of Green, but this is her, this is one of their main instances. She's fighting for January 6th criminals and she's fighting for Donald Trump and his election integrity stuff and all this constantly. What else does she have? Who is she representing from Georgia? What What is it that she's doing for you? Ask yourself that question next time you can think about whether or not you like this lady or not. If I could just add something at the super last minute. Yeah. I'll say she's not doing anything for the people in Georgia, but I think that Marjorie Taylor Greene has, has put some insurance for herself, you know, in the works by cozying up with um, uh, with the leadership of the Republican Party, because we saw her while there was a bunch of Republicans fighting against McCarthy in his fight to be the Speaker of the House. She yeah. found a really comfortable seat right besides him. So I think that even right. in a world beyond Trump, she has created a pathway for her continued political career once he's out of the picture. Whereas a lot of these other Republicans, Carrie Lake particularly, has does not have that same sort of insurance for herself. Yeah, she actually hadn't been in office, definitely not in Congress. So she's out there stuck in Arizona trying to be the governor out there. Um, I hadn't thought about that. That's right. She cozied up with McCarthy and his dumb ass is like, sure, sure, come on in. You seem trustworthy. <laughs> come on, bro. <laughs> they keep falling for it. For more political news breakdowns, interviews, stories of activism, and me trying my hardest to care about the occasional big celebrity news story, subscribe to our YouTube channel at youtube.com slash the damage report. And you can ring the bell wherever it is so you don't miss anything.